Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to do a real-world range test with the family in the car. So this is going to be the most real-world you're going to get. Uh, we're going to get the car charged up to, to probably about 95%. Uh, we're going to have the kids and the wife with me. Uh, we're going to go run some errands. We're also going to go to Crestview, Texas and back and do, do another errand. So we're basically going to see what's the real-world range in real life, you know, with the uh, Model Y from Austin with the 4680 battery. All right guys, so we're starting the trip. Um, right now it's gonna be a 42 mile run to the first location. Uh, then we're gonna come back and run some other errands. So we'll get, we're basically gonna see the true world range of the 4680 Model Y. Again, we've got the family, so both kids and the wife and the vehicle with me. Got the AC going because it's Texas and it's summertime. Um, so this is gonna be a more realistic idea of what you're gonna get with mixed driving. Uh, not just highway, but also with a little bit of city driving whenever we uh, get into running some of our errands. So stay tuned, we'll, we'll keep you updated. All right guys, quick check in um, on the trip. So you can see the current consumption. So doing pretty good. Uh, on the consumption there and then we'll go to the actual trip itself you can see we're just now at the almost coming on 20 20 miles on the trip and we've used a total of five kilowatts so yeah and then we're, the average consumption is 290 uh, but hope to get that a little better as we continue on the trip all right, guys, quick update. We're now at the 33 mile mark. Um, you can see we're down to 79% of the battery uh, and the consumption is right at 286. Okay, guys, we've made it to Drive Exotic. That's our first destination. And you can see we've used 20% battery and we've gone 45 miles. All right, guys, just finished the driving experience. There'll be a separate video, so we're headed back. Um, but just so you guys can see, we are at 70% now on the battery and showing 196 miles and on the trip we're showing that we've gone 44 miles uh, 13 kilowatts used so yeah still pretty good um, we did have to use maybe maybe two or three percent on cooling off the car because it was really hot so we had to do the, the the cabin cooling it's like 100 degrees here in Texas so always factor in the heat uh, and the AC as far within your um, miles miles per uh, range but anyways we're gonna go back to Fort Worth uh, stop eat uh, run some other errands and we'll try to get this as close down to zero as possible today so we can kind of see what the true uh, mixed mileage is so again this is gonna be a, uh, a mix of highway interstate miles um, but again we're coming back from Crestview Texas uh, back to Fort Worth so this is going to be like one of those highways where like there's some lights, but there's some stretch where you can go like 70 miles an hour and then we'll get back on the interstate. So, yep, stay tuned. We'll keep you guys updated. All right, doing a quick check-in. So now we're at 50% battery. We're headed to uh, the Colony area. So it's like North Dallas area. Um, you can see uh, on trip A, we're just at 95 miles. So you can guys can kind of do, do the math there. Um, I will say, again, we've been using a lot of the, the air conditioning because it's just hot. So that, again, this is going to be a very real world uh, test. You're going to see what the truth is. So not just like people trying to squeeze out the maximum amount of battery. Uh, what we want is we want people to kind of understand, hey, when your family's in the car and it's hot and it's, you know, it's, it's in the heat of the summer, this is what you're going to get. So yeah, so again, half the battery right now, Keep left to about 96 on miles. All right, guys, just got to the colony, uh, about to have lunch. Uh, this is area it's called Grandscape, super cool. A lot of real cool restaurants. Um, they got parks, they got a bunch of stuff for families. It's a really, really, really cool uh, spot to, to check out. So if you're ever in the DFW, uh, definitely have time, stop by. All right, so we uh, just finished lunch um, the colony. Looking good. We got a 46 mile drive home. Again, 106 degrees right now, so it's super hot. So we're gonna have to definitely use a lot of AC. Uh, so let's see, 46 miles plus whatever we've driven so far. We've already gone 128, so that would put us, uh, you know, a little under 170. So we'll still have some battery home when we get home. So we'll be at about 14 14% when we get home, and then we'll do some additional 
uh, driving to kind of burn it down, probably loops up and down the highway by the house to see what the actual range is. Hopefully, uh, or at least at 200 miles whenever we uh, we get there. All right, guys, just giving a quick update. So just with the heat and running the AC at pretty much at full blast, turn it down just for the video, uh, you guys can see the projected range to getting home went from 13 down to 7%. So again, all these things come into play. Uh, the Tesla computer is really good at you know letting you know exactly what you're gonna be dealing with. But again, Texas heat, you know, heat in general in the south uh, is just as bad as the, the cold weather, right, as far as the uh, effects on range. So, yeah, well, whenever we get home, what we'll do is if we still have some battery left, we'll go a little bit further past home. We'll try to get it home, you know, close to zero as possible. Uh, just so you guys can see the, the full range of what it is. But, yeah, it's just kind of give you guys a quick update. And again, on the trip... We've, we've only hit 135 miles, so by the time we get home, we should be like at 100 and, uh, maybe 180, just about. So we'll see if we can get the full 200 miles. All right, just checking in. So we're now at 160 miles on the trip. Uh, again, it's been outside. The average temperature's been 100 degrees, uh, sometimes up to 102 uh, degrees. The AC's been on the lowest setting, which is 60 degrees. And we've pretty much been running the AC at the uh, level six to eight on the fan speed, uh, just to keep the the cabin cool. And we've also uh, done multiple times we've done the uh, cooling the cabin from the app just to get it cool before we got back in the car. So still pretty impressed. Again, this is real world. Uh, I got the, me, the wife, and the two kids in there, and the car. So yeah, this is exactly what you should be expecting. Real world. All right, so we've we've made it home, uh, just at one percent. So once again. We started the test at 94%. It's been basically 100 degrees outside. Uh, got the full family in the vehicle. Um, and let's, real quickly, you can see we got the warning. Basically, low power, need to charge. So basically, 195 miles. So again, these are some pretty extreme scenarios, um, but that's gonna be the real world range. So again, uh, the 4680 Model Y standard range out of Austin is rated at 279 miles. But in the reality, you know, in 100 degree weather, this is what you're gonna be getting. So as a general rule, you don't wanna have the car low for, for very long. So I'm at 1%, so we're gonna get this charged up. And then we'll go over the numbers. Okay, guys, so quick recap. So we went from Fort Worth to Crescent, Texas. We did the auto racing track, which was super cool. I uh, got a chance to drive a Lamborghini, so the Tesla is great, the Lamborghini is next level. Uh, so did that, then went from Crescent, Texas, all the way up to the Colony, um, next to the, the Nebraska Furniture, so anyone knows that area, it's a huge area, um, they have a lot of cool shops. Had lunch with my sister, uh, so the kids and my wife and my sister had lunch with them, then back to Fort Worth. So total kilowatts used was 55 kilowatts. Uh, total miles driven was 195. And once we got back in the area, I did have to kind of loop around a little bit to burn the rest of the battery. Uh, but yeah, I mean, pretty pretty impressive. So once again, uh, whenever we started the, the test, it was 88 degrees and basically went up to 103 degrees. So again, we were had the additional weight of extra occupants in the car, which is realistic. Uh, the, the temperatures, I mean, honestly, June, July, August, it's going to be like that in the south. So 100 degree weather is going to be pretty normal. Uh, so the car is having to, to run and cool us off. Uh, so yeah, I think this is kind of what to expect. Now let's kind of talk about what, what, what we actually have. So the, the EPA rated range is 279. Um, these EPA ratings, often they're done in wind tunnels. Uh, with you know one driver probably one driver that's you know fairly light driver um you know going probably like 55 miles an hour if we're being honest right they're not really going highway speeds uh today i would say we probably average probably like 74 miles an hour between sometimes we were going 85 sometimes we were going like you know 50 sometimes we're going 40. But i'd say we'd probably we average around 74 miles an hour uh, so yeah, pretty pretty realistic, in my opinion. Uh, whether this was in Houston, this would be like going from 
Katy to the woodlands to, you know, another area back to Katy, right? Or if I was in Austin, it'd be like, you know, going from North Austin to South Austin, you know, going to lunch somewhere else and coming back, you know? So, I mean, doing 200 miles in a day uh, down South, because everything's spread out, it's, I mean, it's realistic and it's what can happen. Uh, so whether I was in the Highlander or, or the Tesla, pretty much the same pattern, nothing really had to change. Uh, it's, I mean, it's realistic. And, you know, worst case, if I did have to stop somewhere, when we've seen the charging speeds in other videos, if I did have to stop, it, it'd be like a 10 minute stop somewhere and I probably would have gotten, you know, 30% of the battery in 10 minutes from based off of the charging range that we've seen. So overall, pretty happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You guys get a chance to see, hey, what's the reality of driving this 4680 battery on a you know regular summer day down south, right? So hopefully it's got, this video was helpful for everyone. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any other ideas of videos and things you want to see tested, leave those below too. I'd love to address those tests. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and sub the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.